Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to check and replace the carbon brushes on your Dremel rotary tool. And I'm going to demonstrate on my Dremel 4300. The very first thing we need to do is make sure that the Dremel tool is both off and unplugged. So some possible things that might be happening with your Dremel rotary tool if the carbon brushes are worn down is your Dremel rotary tool might have a loss of power, it might be making unusual noises, it might be turning on and off, or it might not turn on at all. These are all possible signs that the carbon brushes might be worn down and possibly need to be replaced. Okay, so let me show you on my Dremel 4300 how to replace the carbon brushes and you can refer to your operating and safety instructions to get the exact way of how to replace the carbon brushes on your Dremel rotary tool. Okay, so the carbon brushes are underneath the brush caps and on my Dremel 4300 there's one on each side, there's one here and there's one here. Uh, so when you get the Dremel tool, you should have got the wrench tool that looks like this and we're going to use the flathead screwdriver side to take the brush caps off and I'm just twisting this in a counterclockwise uh, way and there's the brush cap that came off and then here is the carbon brush and we'll take a closer look at that in a second. Um, let's take off the other brush cap here. And we'll take out that carbon brush as well. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get a closer look at these. Okay, so this is what the carbon brushes look like up close. And these are pretty new. I don't have a lot of time on my Dremel 4300 yet, but over time these will wear down. And it's possible too that one wears down faster than the other. And um, if that's the case, just replace both of them at the same time. Don't just replace the one that worn down, that you know got worn down. Replace them both at the same time. So you also want to make sure too that when you do replace them that you use the correct uh, Dremel replacement brushes that are designed for your tool. Um, there are different carbon brushes out there and you don't want to put the wrong one in your rotary tool. So, um, okay, uh, let's go ahead and reinstall these into my Dremel 4300. Okay, so now to reinstall the carbon brushes and we just want to make sure to reinstall them the correct way. And once the carbon brush is in there, we'll put the brush cap back on and then we'll use the flathead screwdriver side of the wrench tool to tighten down the brush cap. Okay, let's go ahead and reinstall the other carbon brush. Okay, and then we'll just do the same thing on this side. We'll reinstall the carbon brush and just make sure that it is reinstalled correctly. And then we'll put the brush cap back on and then we'll use the flathead screwdriver side of the wrench tool to tighten down the brush cap. Okay, so after you install the new carbon brushes, Dremel says to run the Dremel rotary tool freely at full speed for five minutes before loading or using the tool. This will allow the new carbon brushes to seat in properly. Also make sure that you get the correct Dremel carbon brushes for your Dremel rotary tool. They are all different and you want to make sure that you get the correct one. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.